Hello! English is the international language written and spoken worldwide. Today we will study some differences between British English and American English with regard to pronunciation, spelling, grammar and vocabulary. Before we start studying some of those differences, I would like you to think about the English form that you normally use. Is it British or American English? Also, I would like you to study the following terms and consider if they belong to the British English form or the American English form. Finally, can you add any extra words to the list? British and American English British and American English are the reference models for spoken and written English. British English and American English are taught around the world. For instance, the English-speaking members of the Commonwealth often follow the British English forms, while many new American English forms quickly become familiar outside the United States. Which one should we use? British English or American English? Learners of English as a foreign language should have in mind that there are two main forms in English, American English and British English. Both uses are totally correct, but students so should select one and be coherent not only at the time of using an American English or British English pronunciation, but also when using an American English or British English spelling, for instance. Remember that it is not a good idea to mix them up. There are also some differences between the two that include not only the pronunciation and spelling, but also vocabulary, grammar, punctuation, and idiomatic expressions. Although there are some specific subjects dealing with the phonetics and phonology of the English language, we'll pay now attention to some differences in pronunciation. First, we are going to focus on stress. As you can see, this is the Cambridge Dictionary online reference in which we are going to appreciate differences in the noun adult. Please listen to the differences between British English and American English. Adult. Adult. The following terms we are going to listen to, I mean the pronunciation of the terms we are going to listen to, are donate and locate. So, British English pronunciation first. Donate. And American English. Donate. And now we type down here locate. And listen, please. Locate. Locate. The following word is also pronounced differently in British English and American English. Let's study this term. So, in British English News and American English News In order to appreciate more differences with regard to intonation, pronunciation and accent, you are going to listen to the following video extracted from the BBC News website.
the House of Kings, Westminster Abbey. For a thousand years, the cradle of royal power. And today, the setting for a royal wedding. Just a mile away, Buckingham Palace, where the young couple will one day live as King William and Queen Catherine. Their special day watched by vast crowds here in London, throughout the United Kingdom, and by a global audience. We think of up to two billion people. Okay, we are stopped now, but remember that you can continue watching and listening to this clip later on. Let's now watch and listen to another video from the New York Times website. Here goes nothing. You know, when you envision a, a ballet class, you envision a ballerina in front of a bar, you know, doing stretches and working on their legs and dips and having their feet pointed out. And there was a lot of that in the class. But it was, it was a lot faster than, than I anticipated moving from one exercise to the other. The hour was really jam-packed. We did a lot more work than I thought you can get in, in the hour. Excellent. I'm sure that you have listened to some differences between British English from the BBC News website and American English from the New York Times website. Please continue watching these and other clips to improve your pronunciation in English. Let's study now some differences in spelling. British English usage is split between both I's and I's, one with Z and the second one with S. But it is more common to have the spelling with S, as in the cases of organize, realize and fantasize. In American English, however, they prefer using the I's spelling with Z, as in the cases of organize, realize, and fantasize. Some words of French, Latin or Greek origin end with a consonant followed by RE. Most of these words have the ending ER in the United States. The difference is most common for words ending in BRE or TRE. British spelling for center, fiber, liter, or theater, for, for instance, are spelled ER ending in American English. Some differences in grammar. Let's study the collective nouns. In British English, collective nouns can take either the singular or plural form of the verbs. If you're referring to an institution as a unit, British English will use the singular form. But if you are referring to that collective noun as members of a group, British English will use the plural form of the verb. In American English, however, there is not distinction. They will always use the singular verb form for collective nouns, as you can appreciate in the following examples. So in British English, you will have the two options. The government is, are, trying to find a solution. And in the second example for American English, there is only one option in singular form. The government is trying to find a solution. The past tense and past participle of verbs such as learn, spoil, spell, dream, etc. can be either irregular with uh, the spelling of learned, for instance, or regular with ed ending, as in the case of learned. In British English, both irregular and regular forms are current.
but there is a strong tendency towards the irregular forms, as in the case of learned. In most accents of American English, regular forms are more common since the irregular forms are never orally used. In that case, learned with ed would be the preferred option. Finally, let's see some differences in vocabulary between British English and American English. At the beginning of this presentation, I ask you to consider the differences between biscuit for British English and cookie for American English. The same happened with lift, an elevator, city centre, downtown in American English, programme with double M and E ending for British English and programme for American English. And another example of a vocabulary difference is the expression holiday for British English and vacation for American English. I'd like you now to spend some time reading the following paragraphs and identify if they are following a British English form or an American English form. Well done! You were right. The first paragraph was using an American English spelling so that you can appreciate it in center with ER ending. And the second paragraph was using a British English spelling that you can see in the two words highlighted in bold. Finally, remember that it is a good idea to use a dictionary. We have shown you in this presentation the online Cambridge Dictionary in which you can see the definition and also the pronunciation according to British English and American English. So, new word, look it up and check a spelling and pronunciation, please. This is now the conclusion of this presentation in which you should know some differences between British English and American English with regard to pronunciation, spelling, vocabulary and grammar. Remember to be coherent and choose one form, British English or American English. Also, pay attention to the following slide and make sure to do the online activities and some further reading. Thank you very much and have a great day. Universidad de Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.